Do not look away for a second of this episode. Near rollovers, mechanical issues, panel damage, tough tracks and insane views. This one has it all. Stick around. So we're up here in La Cola, this Burgoyne's track. We're going to make our way across to Walhalla Way, but we're not sure if we're going to be able to make it because the rivers are up. Uh, this one's always a treacherous crossing. Uh, plenty of cars being drowned in it. So we're going to head up anyway, take a look. Hopefully we can complete it. If not, we'll make our game plan up as we go. Uh, we're up here with Fabs in the big red truck and we've got two of the Sonder boys along with us. Uh, you would have seen them in other episodes, Doug and Gus. So yeah, little camp last night, Shane's Bridge. Uh, yeah, it's a good little campsite that one, but it is quite easily accessible. So yeah, depending on when you're there, depending on the demographic of people that are in there. Some people look after the joint, some don't. Um, you can find it clean and tidy, otherwise it's trash, but it wasn't too bad when we were there last night. Um, so yeah, this should be a fun one. Let's see what we get up to. If you haven't seen some of our other Sonda trips, Sonder Care Group are a disability support group that help get people with disabilities out and about in some unique ways and this is going to be a cracker. Yeah, so you, it has sort of in the past couple of years been graded. Uh, it was pretty treacherous this one. Yeah. So. yeah, I've definitely had times when when there's big steps in there and times like this when it's not too bad and yep. other times when it's just like... Still good fun though, eh? Yeah, doesn't matter how hard it is or how easy it is, it's still fun. Good track. Oh yeah. track here this descent down onto the river I used to have some awesome steps in it um, yeah back before like I said earlier it was graded um, but it's still such a stunning drive down into this valley like check this out hills look absolutely ginormous from up here what do you reckon Doug good view absolutely beautiful view <laughs>
So this is the uh, Burgoyne's Crossing here. It's actually flowing a bit, but it's not too deep by the looks of it. So we're going to get across and we're going to be able to do our plans as we planned on. So uh, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, otherwise, it's turn around, head all the way back out to La Cola Road there. So yeah, chalk this one up as a win. Let's poke our nose in and see how deep it is. We'd thought we'd cross the river trouble free, then this happens. Did it stop or? Hey, nah, something's getting somewhere. Come on, it's just come through the river there and Fabian's got himself a bit of an issue. So something's hitting somewhere under the bonnet. So we'll pop it up and have a squeeze, see what it is. Maybe the water pushed something and moved it. I can't forget your bonnet stick. Trusty bonnet stick, mate. Yep. Don't these things come with gas struts? Uh, they do originally. Yep. Not when you cut them out. Uh, that old trick. Where's it sound like it is? Um, I actually don't know. Fan or something maybe? It sounded fan like, but I thought I turned it off just in case I was touching the radiator, but it wasn't. Yeah. Turn it back on, see what it does. Yep. Probably gonna go away now. Hey. Maybe there's a stick in there. Yeah. Stick or just something? Because we were doing it just all the time, was it? No, it literally just started like then. It's like I picked something up, but it was in somewhere where it was. Is it worth coming forward or just under load? Yeah. It was still doing it while it was. Um, oh, when you're idling it, it sobbed. Yeah. Not doing it anymore, so uh, see what happens. It's a good result, mate. Yeah, it fixed itself. <laughs> Old cars do that. See that stump on the right there? It's just about to claim another victim, and I'm sure there's been a few. You got it, didn't you? Yeah. Um, go backwards a bit if you can, just slowly though. Okay. Hmm. You kind of in a shit spot here. Yeah. Like yeah, you've already hit your wheel arch on the front, and now it's just going to do the back, or you're going to go backwards and take the front again. Go forwards, but like in a straight direction. That. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. All right. Um, start swinging now. Go real slow though. Yeah, well you passed the worst part, so start swinging hard. Do you want to reverse it up or are you happy?
a little bit of a love mark. So that noise came back and Fabian thought it sounded like plastic in a fan and we found it. It was plastic in a fan. It was me lower fan tra I mean lower yeah, fan trout I suppose you call it. Um, water obviously moved it and then the fan snagged it and now she's all broken. So mm. take it out, deal with it when we get home I reckon. Fixy fixy. Yeah, that's a future future me problem. That's it. At least it's a cheap fix, not like uh, going to the panel beater like me. Yeah, someone's <laughs> got to go panel beater already. So yeah, I just, I don't know, brain fart, forgot that stump was there, drove up, crunched the very front oh, flare oh, oh. and the rear bar, which is brand new. <laughs> Most of it will polish out. This bit down here, where it's down to the black, I'll just put the mud flaps back on, which I've been planning on doing anyway. I should fix that. And hopefully, it's like it's just sort of gone through the clear coat of it. Yeah, she goes with the polish, but oh well, these things happen. Have a look at this. This has to be one of the high country's best campsites. If you don't know where it is, get your map out and come and find it. You're not going to regret that. What do you reckon about this campsite here, Gussie? Not too bad. Not too bad? I felt like I, I really bust something up then with Courtney because I felt like I was really busting something up then. Yeah. But it was only a broken fan belt, so me and Fats were not too pissed off about it. We're just going to probably, we're probably going to have to climb back up there, but we'll get there. We'll get up there. Yeah, you're going to have to get in your foot falcon and walk out. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> What's the plan, trip leader? Ah, uh, so we're obviously in the gully right now, and then we're going to head back out through the other side, up Burgoynes, which last time I did it was very off camber, but that was years ago, and I believe Dave was saying it's actually been widened a lot, so it should be all right now. Um, and then once we're at the top there, we don't really have a plan, but we're heading towards Thompson Dam area, so we'll head up there, have some lunch on a helipad or somewhere nice, hopefully, and then look at the mats and find some more tracks for the rest of the Arvo. Beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy it. That's it. This is the section of Burgoynes that used to be extremely hard. Off camber rock sections that pointed you straight towards the cliff. It's now been widened up so it's quite an easy drive.
what, as far as iconic backdrops go, like, does it get much better than this? It's up there. It's yeah. definitely up there. So you got, yeah, the valleys down the bottom here, all those mountains out the back. You've got the river sort of just down a bit further. Pretty special. No complaints coming out of me. <laughs> See what else we can find, eh? Yeah. Almost to the top. Yeah. Make a bit of a game plan. Make a game plan, maybe try to find some harder stuff. Yeah, that's it. So it would be nice. Still pretty early, so we've got plenty of time in the day. Yeah, that's it. All right. Bit of lunch on the go. Couple of snags, mate. Going gourmet this trip, though. Absolutely. Gourmet yeah. snags. Lamb, rosemary, feta, chorizo, and something else. A bit of dirty onions. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. What do you reckon, Doug? It's got to be great. Oh, yeah. Really good. Yeah. All right. We've just got to start a deep creek. Um, number four. So, should be a good one. Next part of the plan, mate. So, yeah. yeah. Connecting the two after this and drive along that creek bed, so yeah, it's pretty picturesque down there. Good tracks. Yeah, yeah pretty keen. Absolutely kicking myself for not having the bush barriers on. Um, yeah, this is pretty overgrown and tight through here, so not looking forward to looking at the outside paintwork after this one. This one's going to be interesting in the patrol, like, it is a gigantic step down here, so, yeah, might try sit up a little bit higher, I can straighten this out a bit, otherwise, yeah, hugging the bank, not quite the clearance of the, the ute, so, I think that's my safest option. I'm very close. Well, that uh, trying to stay up high there was a little bit sketchy. She slid straight in, but luckily no panel damage or anything, so no complaints again. Let's walk down here without falling over. Did you touch anything? No. Yeah, beaut. When she started sliding sideways, I'm like, uh-oh, just put the boot in a little bit just to straighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kept it off the wall, so that was lucky. Yeah, that's worked out well. Yeah, thank God. G'day Gus here again. Um, we've just um, parked in a nice little river here. Um, 
just up, just in front of me. The exit's just out there. Um, Dave hasn't come down yet because his truck's up, just come, waiting to come down. Um, Doug didn't want to get out because you know he's got boots on and he's probably he's probably afraid of the water. Maybe I don't know. Um, but we're just looking up to Doug and all we'll just our two participants and our awesome three three support staff and we're still having a good awesome time and we come home tomorrow so enjoy it while we can because you don't get a beautiful creek like this. Good climb this one. So yeah, there's a few different line options. There's a couple of big holes in it too. Um, yeah, right down the bottom, you've got sort of left and right, some big holes there, right where I'm standing. Another massive hole just here. So yeah, I straddled it coming up. I think Fabian's gonna do the same, otherwise you could sort of swing around it um, or come right through it. Yeah, all personal preference, but uh, yeah, it's just good climb, Deep Creek 4. Let's see how the uh, see how the big red truck goes compared to mine it's so interesting watching how ifs vehicles work versus solid axles so yeah be interesting to see the difference That was yuck. You want to probably get down a bit and then straighten back up. So if you back up, left hand down. Keep going. Left, uh, right hand down, sorry. Yeah, you're still alright. Like always, the camera never shows us the severity of the angle. Also, whilst in the driver's seat, it's very hard sometimes to know the position of the car and what it's going to do when you move. This is the times yeah. where spotters are imperative. Uh, now keep swinging that. That's a better angle. Yeah. Um, you're still good to go straight back and then you can sort of rejig yourself. So if you go straight back, it's going to flatten out. Keep going. Still got a few metres. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, there are. Right. Now you can re sort of readjust yourself a bit from there if you want to try to scoot it over. Yeah, or you can go left hand down, swing the back around a bit and it sort of flattens out. Yeah, 
out. <laughs> it's huge. back at that, straighten up, just keep rolling straight back, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. now left hand down, yep, yeah, that'll bring you back around, keep rolling that around, I'll go back up, Tell you what, the deep creeks have uh, putting on a good show today. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Nice climb that one. So we've done deep creek four. Now we're onto deep creek one. This one runs along the creek bed, so it's a beautiful little drive. Uh, you got all the ferns and whatnot, uh, all overhanging the track, uh, all the rock boulders and all that. You sort of just slowly make your way across. It's been a good drive. What do you reckon, Doug? Been pretty good? It's been excellent. Really top notch. So, doing a few harder tracks than we normally do on these Sonda trips with a bit bigger crew, but um, yeah, me and Fabian know the area fairly well, so yeah, thought we'd come out and have a bit of fun with the boys up here. Good decision. Yep, excellent decision. <laughs> Another super iconic track this one, Deep Creek. Um, yeah, this is the drive through the ferns, down the creek bed like this. Absolutely unreal. 
And you would have seen plenty of photos and all that sort of stuff. This dropped down into the creek. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. They have started grading though, the end of the last one we did and then onto this. So uh, yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before Deep Creek 4 gets graded as well and smoothed out. But for now, it is a good time. run down bridle track off Walhalla Road here and uh, yeah probably pull up stumps just a nice easy one at uh, Merrington's campground. dinner tonight mate uh we are having burritos are they the chicken version of yeah i think they're the chicken yeah, version. yeah, yeah they'll still be yeah. beef or chicken you can still have either either can you yeah i thought they were different names fajitas burritos no nah. isn't a burrito just the way it's wrapped yes yeah yeah that's what i thought it's just answer, the way it's wrapped. answer that because i reckon they're different names yeah right why is the sauce got different is one I an mean... enchilada and one a burrito why is, is it... whenever you get burrito ones they got chicken on it, yeah. but then you get like tacos and, and enchiladas. Yeah, yeah, and there's meat on it. Yeah, can I can meat. you put us in the comments if we forgot to Google it before we put this out? But I'll yeah. definitely forget. Yeah, probably will too, even though I'm editing it right now. Still Still let us, let us know. Yeah. Tell us in the comments or what are you calling? Are they burritos or fajitas or vegetas? Yeah. No if matter. If you've got a different name for it, let us know. Yeah. I just call them wraps. <laughs> what is it? Go. I call them wraps. Uh, all the same. There it is, mate. There it is. Absolutely, looks fantastic. What's this over here? Uh, that is a secret. Secret recipe. Yeah. Can't. Oh. I can't let everyone know about that one. Doug just hit it away. Sorry, we weren't meant to say that. Nah. <laughs> but what do you do with those if it wasn't a secret? If it wasn't a secret, you would grab a handful of them, or a couple, and you just give them a little bit of a crunch on there, just to give you a bit of crunch in your wrap. There you go. Burrito. So, that is the secret sauce, mate. Oh, God. I'm having some drama. It's just a bit spinny. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it for you? I might have to. There it is. Muscles. Muscles, yeah. That is the secret sauce. Way, you silly girl. All right. Well, happy days. Time to chow and uh, see you in the morning. Bye. Yeah.
Good job. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. And we're up, mate. Yeah. How'd you sleep? I slept good. I heard you didn't sleep too well. Uh, rubbish sleep last night, but it's all right. Still, I'm in the bush. I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. I'm, bit, yeah. I'm ready to go. Beautiful. Today, quick bag and egg brekkie. Little, yeah. A few tracks on the way out. And yeah, home, yeah. a bit of a half day of four driving, I reckon, and then, yeah. and then we'll uh, hit the road and get everyone home and unpack and clean and do all, all that sort of stuff and all get ready for Monday. All right, so we're not done yet. So stick around and see what we do next. Daily struggle between someone <laughs> fluffing about with ratchet straps, making fun of ropes. Ropes are for dopes, mate. Ropes for dopes. Ropes for dopes. But then you got over here, you use ropes, and I seem to be tied up and ready to go every time. So am I, mate. I'm just sitting up yeah. here. I've just had a coffee, just sitting chilling, whipped up a breakfast burrito with chicken. Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Let, us, know. let us know what you think. Ratchet straps? That took a while to get out. Yeah. Or? Or ropes. Or, or ropes. Or the cam buckle straps. Oh, or them, yeah. yeah. The world's your oyster, really. Yeah, it is. I pick ropes. Versatile, can use it for anything. I can tow ropes. things if you have to. And Gus picks ropes as well. I pick ropes. What do you reckon? Uh, ratchet straps. Ratchet straps. He can't go in my car. <laughs> <laughs> ropes are also far quicker to wrap up. Look how slow he is. I'm waiting for you to finish the rest of your pack up, mate. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're just waiting on you. Oh, yeah. pack me awning up. Let's go.
Another good step up this one. Check out the height of that. Like that's oh, waist height to the first bit of it, and then next bit just oh, another meter up above my head. So yeah, heading up this one would be fun doing it the other way. We've done it quite a few times. Um, yeah, it's definitely starting to get in a little bit worse condition though. step. I haven't quite got the clearance of Fabian in the ute, uh, so I'm going to have to take it a bit of a different approach. trying to get up here I suppose busted up tracks but um if something does break mate just throw it in the back of your car or in the back of the ute or whatever like it's not that hard to pick up a couple of those bits and take them with you you obviously got them here so take them out if I can fit them in so can you New versus old. Hey. New versus old. That's one for me. Is that one one for me? One less score for you? Well, it depends on how you do it. If you want to say what made it look more impressive, I get a point. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Oh, I better just unlock me hubs then. Who's got more of a smile, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> Smiles by miles. That's it. <laughs> Please pick up a wheel that time. I didn't look. Oh, I was watching the screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Let's see what you can do here.
So that was low saddle done. That's a cracking climb and a descent as well. Either way you do it, good fun. In the wet, that can turn to a complete other beast. Um, just finishing up here now. Look at this view, absolutely stunning and good way to end an epic trip. Uh, yeah. Wow. No complaints wow. coming from me. Yeah. No <laughs> complaints from me either. No, no complaints, complaints Gussie. Or no Three. complaints from Courtney. Yeah, and you enjoyed that one, one Doug? Yeah, I did. It was excellent. Yeah. So yeah, it was great getting out with these boys doing a couple of the harder tracks than we usually do for these sort of trips. And, yeah. Uh, I reckon we should probably do some more. I reckon. Yeah. It's only a little bits and pieces of damage. What we have, a rear bumper, a flare. And something. My pride. Uh, His pride. <laughs> My <laughs> ability, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I had a lower lower radiator shroud come off mine and then a slider yeah and i think that click you heard uh, when we were heading up that last hill that big bang was just maybe a rear alignment's just gone out just a little bit I so i can see a dent in the bottom now dent in the bottom what don't don't look i won't look all right i hope you enjoy the trip and we'll see you out there on the next one catch you